I've been playing for like 10 minutes without recording, so I'm sorry if you guys missed anything, but it was just another like two battles. <laughs> Honkwort, my boy. I realize it now, or perhaps deep down I always knew it. The fiend that rules over the monsters of this land is none other than the same golem that watched over Cantlin. Yeah, we all figured that out a while ago, dude. My boy. This piece is what all true warriors strive for. I just couldn't bring myself to admit that a creation intended to protect the people might instead turn against them. Why are you walking on the wall, though? Concord, if you can slay this golem, the darkness will be dispelled, and light will return to Cantlin. But before you accept the challenge, be sure you have prepared enough wrecking balls and Cantlin shields. This is our last stand. The conflict that will decide whether Cantlin is a land of monsters or men. Honkwort, my boy, are you ready to face the final fight? Not till I save. Indeed, indeed. Definitely follow on Twitch. Um, I don't know how many Cantlin shields I'm going to need. I forget. I have three. Hopefully that's enough. I know I have more than enough bombs, though. Honkwort, I heard what LaRouche told you. It seems I was wrong. LaRouche and I both love this city. At times like these, I cannot help but recall the wise words of young Pippa. She has said it so often, it's become something of a Cantlin catchphrase. I just want to build a city where we can all live together in peace. I leave the rest up to you, Honkwort. Protect our city and let us all live in peace together once more. All right. Final boss of the chapter. Oh, okay. That's Dragon Quest Seven battle music, isn't it? I think that's Dragon Quest Seven's battle music. The Brick and Mortar Slaughterer, Gollum. All right, let's see if I remember how to play this. Block the boulders. Come on, what you got? all the way over there. Hopefully I can get there in time. Just in time. The golem gets... Okay, hide behind the Cantlin shield. You're not breaking my city, dude. That didn't work. Oh, no. He jumped. I didn't, I somehow missed my opportunity. That way. There we go. All right. We can't be messing with those guys. Oh my god, you're right. It is like a modern act razor. Oh, he's not gonna do anything till I kill these guys, is he? Yeah, it says defeat the hammer hoods. It is like an act razor. Oh no, I'm never gonna get over there in time. Yeah, it just cancel me that idea. Shit. All right, oh yeah, I wasn't too bad. I can fix that.
Well, you just came in at a time where it's a lot of combat. Usually it's a pretty slow-paced game because you're building stuff and cra you're mining and crafting. Yeah, I gotta fix the castle wall there. All right. Ba, 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 ba. Switch to the bombs. Wait, no, don't switch to the bombs yet. Oh, God. Forgot about that part. All right, put a bomb there. Put a bomb there. All right, we got it. So he only wrecked, like, a little corner of the town right now. That could have been a lot worse. Where is he, though? I want him near me when I, I'm ready, you know? Yeah, it'll buff right out. You're right. Bomb. This might kill him. Yay! That's a win, baby. Hell yeah. And I got the tarnished token. I watched it. Do, do, do. We know how to make the ancient emblem. Alright. He, he barely damaged it. Remember the first time I played it, he wrecked, like, practically the whole city because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing? <laughs> he barely broke anything. Oh! I'm walking into my own trap. Yeah, let me, uh, get those castle walls out if I can. You know, I never put the parapets up that I was going to. Oh, it's Castle Foundation. Uh, I was going to put parapets up, and I never did it. It's okay. That would have just been for decoration, really. <coughs> yeah, he really didn't do much. To, I knew what to do. The first time I played this, I had no idea what I was doing. By my shiny white teeth, you did it, Honkward. You slew the golem. The city of Catlin is saved, and it's all because of you. Thank you, Honkwart. Thank you. Hmm? Where did that rusted metal you're holding come from? Could it be the legendary... Alright, we gotta restore it. Uh, I would imagine I could do it with this thing. Maybe not. No, not the damn treasure chest. Not here either. All right. There it is. Well, it looks like I have it. Oh, wow. I'm glad I have a lower calcum because I need five of them. All right, let's make it. We have the ancient emblem. By my soft and slender fingers. You've done it. You've restored the ancient emblem. This should be all we need to dis disperse the oppressive darkness that hangs over Cantlin. Quickly, Honkward, go to your banner of hope and offer the emblem to the skies. And that'll end the chapter, I guess. Although, why is he giving me medicinal herbs? I don't think... I think very little of the items carry over between chapters. I mean, you could always come back here. Yeet! This will be this whole area restored now. The graphics are definitely better than in the old version. It feels punched up, for yeah, sure. Perfect oracle. The light returns to Cantlin. It's in a higher resolution than it was on Switch, that's for damn sure. Hogwarts, my child, you have done well. This land has been freed from the Dragon Lord's evil influence, and its people can now rebuild it by their own power. 
But do not forget, my child. There are so many other people in this world who still need your help. By my big round head! Look, Concord, look! The sky, it's so bright. It sure is. And big, and blue, and beautiful. That night, the people of Cantlin held a, ban held a banquet to celebrate the return of the light and to thank Honkward for his heroic efforts. With the city still suffering from the recent nonstop attacks, I mean, not really. The celebrations aren't exactly extravagant, and the spread is only simple. But even so, the smiles and laughter that la last long into the night. That morning comes, all over your face and your chest! Incoming message from the big giant head. <laughs> so you've finally woken up, have you, Honkward? I laughed so hard last night, I thought my sides might burst. Who would have ever thought LaRouche had such a wicked sense of humor? And when I tried Pippa's cooking, well, I thank my lucky stars, I survived the first spoonful. By the way, Honkwart. Late last night, I saw a strange pillar of light rising into the sky over the eastern mountains. That's the next area. I wouldn't be surprised if there was something interesting going on over there. Perhaps you might want to head over and take a look. Uh, of course, you don't have to go if you don't want to. I just thought you might be interested, that's all. What you do with yourself from now on is entirely up to you. All right. Eating food. Eating food. All right. Um, they said east, right? I don't see a pillar of light. I'm gonna head in that direction, though. Like, it doesn't actually show as a quest marker, I don't think. Well, there is something in the southeast on my... I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to be going towards, but it doesn't look like a quest marker. Oh, there, there it is. I see it. Incoming message from the big giant head. Oh wait, I have the boots that let me not take damage. Yeah, so this should take me to the next chapter. Honkwort, my child. That light you see before you is a portal to the next land you must free from the Dragon Lord's curse. The items, the knowledge, and the strength that you have acquired in this place will not survive the journey. The moment you pass through this portal of light, you will lose everything. But Honkwort, my child, should I still be in, sh should it still be your will to rid this world of darkness, I bid you step into the swirling vortex without fear or regret, and be safe in the knowledge that I do not watch over you always. Let's go. So, Honkwort, you're leaving us. I had a feeling this might happen. Could you not just stay a little longer to help us finish rebuilding Cantlin to its former glory? Nah, I forget I said that. I was being selfish. At least you weren't being shellfish. <laughs> Hogwart, my boy. You made me realize something. Restoring Cantlin to its former glory is not a matter of building walls and towers, but of building bonds of true friendship between our fellow towns... <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't do it. No matter how grave the occasion, I just can't make a speech as soppy as that. Go on, my boy. Step into the light. There are many places in this world that need your help far more than we do. Ah, I almost forgot something very important. There's something that Pippa insisted I give you. Though you may lose everything else on your journey through the portal, if you clutch this gift tight enough, it'll be sure to end up it'll be sure to make it to your destination. Farewell, Honkwort. May we meet again someday. <laughs> you think it would have been Pippa to see him off since she was the first NPC we met, but Yeah. Instead we meet with Rollo. Took me a whole month to do that chapter. In game month, at least. Yeah. Alright, you can now build fire blades in Terra Incognita. We did that, and we can now build stone furniture in Terra Incognita. That's like the sandbox mode. We didn't do defeating dra I saw one dragon, but we didn't defeat the other two dragons. Uh, never built a Cantlin garden or repaired the Hammerhood's graveyard. So we might wanna I might want to come back at some point and do that stuff. And I got the achievement Custodian of Cantlin. Chapter 2 is Rimmeldar. An island in eastern Alfgard where a town once stood surrounded by a crystal clear lake. Terra Incognita has been unlocked. 
which is basically, like I said, it's like a sandbox mode. A new island has been unlocked in Terra Incognita. New recipes have unlocked in Terra Incognita. Sweet. All right, let's do it. Chapter two, Rimmeldar. Rimmeldar Mire, the Swamp of Sickness. Ba -ba -ba this is music from Dragon Quest IV, I believe. You lose your armor and everything. My child, you have awoken. This is the next place that cries out for your help, Honkwork. The land of Rimmeldar. Long, long ago, the island you see before you was home to the prosperous city, surrounded by crystal clear water. But now, all has been corrupted by this blighted mire. The few survivors live in constant fear of a dreadful disease. Here, my child, I offer this gift unto you. Now we got the Banner of Hope. And that's where our town's gonna be. Head toward the light you see before you, Honkwork, and place this banner of hope in the center of the ruins. All may see st seem strange to you at first, my child. The people you encounter here, the monsters you do battle with, even the new creations you build. But I know now that you will soon find your feet in this afflicted frontier. Now go, Honkwork, head towards the light. Oh, she gave me food, okay. Blinded by the light. Ripped up like a douche, another runner in the night. That's a frog stool. We don't want to stay in that too long. All right. I don't have a hammer, do I? No. Oh, I do have a hammer. I actually start this chapter with a hammer. Nice. We got a broken branch. First broken branch. And first handful of pink petals. Alright, this is going to be our town, huh? <laughs> A warm and soothing light spreads all around. My child, the people who inhabit this blighted land have lost hope. They live in constant fear of the disease that stalks all who live here. Thanks to your efforts in Cantlin, my children are gradually regaining the power to build. However, the men and women of Rimmeldar have not the strength to resist this epidemic and have all been sur but surrendered to the sickness. Oh, this is the chapter with the sick people. I remember this. Honkwart, it will not be long before the banner's light draws the survivors to this place. You must build a new town here and purify this polluted land. Do what you must to eradicate the blight by which it has been gripped. And know, my child, that I watch over you always. Oh, here's our first NPC. Heavens above! I never expected to find a poor, ailing patient in a place like this. What's the matter with you, my lamb? Does your stomach hurt, or your chest, or, Rubus forbid, is there something wrong with your head? What? There isn't anything the matter with you at all? But if that's the case, whatever are you doing in a place like this? Mercy me, you're the builder? The one with the power to create? Did you make this flag, too? If you're really the builder, then the great shepherdess in the sky must have guided you here. Truly, the goddess does watch over us always. My name is El. Please, my lamb, help me save this blighted land. This entire island is infected by the blight. Some even say that all the sickness in Alephgard is concentrated here. I want to save this place. I want to heal each and every one of the poor souls afflicted by the illness. Will you help me, Honkwork? Will you join me in fighting back against the sickness that plagues this land? I'm sorry? You want to know what happened to my leg? It was my own silly fault, really. In my haste to reach the light that I saw shining down here, I tripped over and injured myself. If I had some healing cream to rub on it, I'm sure it would be get rid right away. But I mustn't grumble, after all. It's nothing compared to the suffering others endure. Alright. So she wants healing cream? Okay. Alright. Well, we do have a workstation, so that's good. I don't even see healing cream on here, do I? Um, oh, there it is. I need white petals. I need three of them. I remember the white petals being not super common here, though. Yeah. 
That's frog stool. Dog's body. Yeah, I gotta go find some white petals to make healing cream. Alright. I think they... Um... God, I'm so weak right now. I think they might be up on the hills. Those snails from Dragon Quest 2. Oh no, those are drolls. Never mind. And we got our first spat of sticky liquid. I gotta be careful because I don't have a, uh, a colossal coffer, so I can't carry too much shit. Might this be white petals? See those bodkin archers there. Oh, oh never mind. Alright, that's white petals. I think they're pretty rare around here, so I don't want to go like too crazy with um Cause I seem to remember getting to a point where I could hardly find any I need needed them for something. So I just wanna like if I hoard them instead of um using them all to make healing cream, you know? I remember this part. Dog's body. I got so used to swinging around my awesome sword. I thought for a second the slime was clipping through the ground. It was just on a lower level. fill this in, right? Oh, some of it, at least. We're gonna have to build a perimeter and everything. Alright, just one. I think she only needs one. Goddess be praised! You've made a pot of healing cream just for me? Do you mind if I use it now? Yep, here you have it. Thank you, Honkwort. May the Holy Mother above bless your kind soul. She doesn't even question the fact that my name's Honkwort. I never, I've never seen anyone craft new items from raw materials before. There's no doubt about it. You are truly the builder of legend. Oh, the goddess smiles down upon us this day. I beg you, Honkwort, use the powers that you've been blessed with to deliver this land from the blight. She gives me some broken branches. Hooray! Honkward, I'm sure you've seen right now this island is utterly engulfed by a poisonous swamp. Most of the people who used to live here succumbed to its effects. Almost all those who survived and contracted the blight and suffer still. My lamb, I would like you to build me a sick room so that I might cure, care for the afflicted. I've always dreamed of building a house of healing to aid the poor, suffering souls, and it seems that the great goddess has finally answered my prayers. Please take this blueprint and build me the sick room of my dreams. Alright, so... Before I worry about building a room... You know what I mean? Let's, um, like make a perimeter and such. I can still do that. Okay, cool. Because I do have a hammer, so. So we at least have something to cordon off the town limits. At least I have my spin technique and everything still. Alright, let's start with what we have. Yeah. 
At some point we'll put a door there, I guess. Get rid of the tree. Also probably want to like finish that bedroom that's there. That way I could uh, have a place to sleep. All right, I'm out of earth, but asking you shall receive, right? I just got superior decorator for placing 2,000 objects. That's hella objects. I need to get more earth, though. We're going to be ending fairly soon, though. So... So maybe the first thing I should do is worry about finishing that bedroom that's there and so I have a place to sleep. And then we'll end, because yeah, we gotta we gotta end the stream and whatnot. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Uh. Oh god, see this. Damn it. Ghost's coming after me. There we go. I would also need a door, though, of some sort. Let's see if I can build me a door. All right, I can do a straw door. And I need a light source. I'm saying hi, Alice. You were on the... You see this, Alice? Moogle saying hi to you. You were in the voice chat with us the whole time. <laughs> Tripping. Adored. You're adored. Oh, it already had a light source. I didn't even realize that. Alright, well, there, now it has two. We can sleep. You're adored. Adored. Okay, uh, we're gonna save it and clear up some of these skulls and shit. <laughs> they just let the skulls sit around, right? Alright, let's save it. Alright, so, uh, that's gonna be that. We're gonna go over the schedule and we're gonna do a raid, but first I'm gonna end the YouTube video, so we'll see you guys real soon with more of Dragon Quest Builders.